so innocent Yeah, when she speaks a lesson She is my angel Hey guys, Jocelyn Davis here for Clever TV, and today we are excited to welcome back one of our favorite guests, Mitchell Musso. Mitchell, thank thanks you for, for having me. Returning, right? yeah, thank second you. time. Sure, yeah. It's such an honor. Now, of course, everybody knows you from Hannah Montana, but okay. the last time that you were here, you were talking a lot about your music career. Uh, your debut album is in stores now, so how's it going? Uh, everything's good. Yeah. I mean, as far as music is, I, I just got off my tour. It's been four and a half months uh, of just, you know, busting it at airports, hotels. Four and a half months. Four and a half months out on the road, different city, at pretty much every single day. Uh, three different tours. Uh, one with Metro okay. Station, which was awesome. Your bro, was hanging out with so your bro. So much fun, yeah. For that was like a three-week tour, so that took up a good little portion. What's of it. it really like being on tour? I mean, you hear good stories, bad stories. I mean, a Tell lot. Us, divulge the real info. A lot of the people will say, you know, it's like, oh, depressing. I'm away from home. Yeah. And I'm never with my family or friends. Not true. No. I can I can be first to I tell you that's completely wrong. I had so much fun on tour. Uh, I miss my family, of course, and my course. friends, but I flew them out constantly. Uh, and then, of course, you know, just hanging out every night. And also, I mean, even if you are sad or depressed or something like that because you miss something, right. when you hit that stage every night and you got all those fans screaming, you gone. forget about In it. In and out. Completely wow. forget about it. Yeah, that's Exciting the most life. important thing. So. You also just debuted a new video. I did shout, shout it. Shout it. Yep, just shout um, it. It's like almost, I think, like a behind the scenes look at your tour. Sure. Wouldn't you say? Sure. I mean, well, basically, the whole uh, premise behind the music video was. You know, I, I called in, I said, listen, we just want a camera guy to follow us around mm -hmm. for four days, stay on the bus, and just shoot my life on yeah. tour, what I'm doing, you know, how it's not depressing. You don't see me, like, just sitting in my car looking out the window, you know, just singing the song. It's like us playing uh, with a ball in the street or yeah. us, you know, uh, hanging out with the fans or playing, you know, the hero shot, playing yeah. the show or uh, walking around New York and just, like, fun stuff that we did. It was just four days out on the road, the coolest cities I could think of, and I was just like, just film us, man. Also topping the radio Disney countdown. I heard about is this. this. True. I, and heard. I heard that you wrote this with your brother. Is that also I true? I did. We did. We wrote this. I wrote this with my brother in my buddy uh, Tim's house, uh, and Tim was the producer behind the song. Uh, he was. Well, he's uh, in One Republic. He's the oh guy wow! He is, uh, oh my goodness, what is he doing in One Republic? He wrote a, a bunch of One Republic songs, and I think he's and for other part. artists. Too, yeah, yeah. He's done a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. He's phenomenal, and so. We wrote this song, Shout It, we, it sounded like Shake It, Metro Station uh -huh. song, Shake It, and it's with Mason, even though the music video doesn't have Mason in it, uh, uh, it, it is featured with Mason or so, so. Good working with the bro, album. you like yeah. that? You guys oh are a good gosh, team? Oh my gosh, so easy, so, so easy. We did it two different days, but, the, I mean, as far as like our voices mix, it's a perfect, perfect seamless. Voice, yeah. I saw some really fun video footage from your tour of some girls in Texas. Really? Who hopped on stage with you. I don't know if you remember. Yes, I do remember what this. What was that like? How do you handle it was, this sort of stuff? It was like Jumanji. It was <laughs> wild. It was, it was crazy. There was like, uh, it was like, I think it started off with like one girl and like I'm playing the piano and it starts, hey, so it's like, dun, 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 Yeah. And like I'm playing and she runs up behind me and I'm like, I look back. I'm like, You're like yo. I'm like, hi. And she's like, she's like, because the, the song right before is called Do It Up, and I'm always like, the, the song is, first of all, you got to dance with me. Uh -huh. and I'm like, can you dance with me, girls? And like, she walks up and I'm playing, screaming. hey, and she's like, I want to dance with you. And I was like, uh. Oh, hello. I was like, all right. I, I, I mean, I started the song, and then all of a sudden, you know, within like five seconds, there's 35, 40 girls on the stage, oh. and they just keep coming. And then I just like look back, and I'm seeing security, like six guys just like tossing, tossing girls, girls off the stage. Like, like, it's just like, you know, paper. It's just, it was wild, man. But. 
I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite concerts. When the fans do that crazy stuff, uh -huh. man, makes it a rock show. I love it. I, I even said it, I was like, I think all you girls are rock stars for just on stage. They are. So brave. Man, so I wouldn't in a million years. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I saw the video from their viewpoint. It made us look they good. had a little camera and they were just popping, popping right up just, on stage. I mean, one after another. It was wild. Loved it. Awesome. Now, another rock star, Miss Miley Cyrus, your friend. Of course. Who you're really close with. Sure, and sure. We would love a little collabo. Yeah, I, uh, you know what? We're, we're I guess we're working on that. If you don't know, uh, not to really even bring up Hannah Montana, but I actually re-recorded one of her songs uh, in Hannah Montana coming up in okay. uh, the like uh, uh, not the next episode, but the next episode after that, I sing one of her songs. Not really a collaboration, but it was me, you know, a remix between you know me and her, and, and she you know was in there and helped Very me record cool. it. And, yeah, it was really good. So. Uh, I'm excited, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, you're both that. busy, so I mean, we're we're both so. I mean, like it's ridiculous. If if I'm if I'm not busy, which is rarely, she's busy, and then when she's not busy, which is rarely, exactly. You know, I'm busy, so, uh, you know, it's it, it sucks sometimes, but it's like we're just living the dream. Exactly. Man. And we always see each other. I mean, of course. You know, we're, neither of us are too worried about right, it. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, on a random musical note, I was doing some research on you prior to this interview. Oh, boy. And I found a bio that said that you were an actor, singer, oh, rapper. Who says that? You know, I found, <laughs> is this true or is this a lie? Break this, it down. That's ridiculous. I'm not, I'm so not a rapper, but, uh, uh, you know, on Hannah Montana, I have an alter ego named Mike Stanley who raps and, like, on a couple of the episodes, I did a couple, like, little fun raps that I wrote with the producers that were, you know, kid friendly, but right. about, like it was, it was like Will Smith, you know what I mean, doing a rap course, or something like that, right. so that kind of a rap, and uh, and that's kind of where they get that from, but no, uh, 50 Cent is not making any more albums. For okay. Me. My inner, <laughs> my inner uh, Dre will not be coming we'll out We'll stay anymore. inside, yeah, okay. I'll keep them locked up. All it's right, rough, yeah. bummer. Um, I also have a few music questions from our Twitter followers. Perfect. Savannah ZR wants to know what artists inspire you and why? Uh, man, that is a great question. Uh, I, I listen to everything, everybody from um, Elton John to like Lil Wayne. Uh, that's like classical to yeah. hard rap uh, and everything in between, like as far as punk, rock, like uh, the used uh, rock, like Aerosmith or some more like ACDC. Uh, I love Simon and Garfunkel, kind of like an alternative classical yeah. kind of a sound. Uh, I, I seriously listen to all genres, man. I, I have an ear for everything. Very and cool. I, I think it's from having an older brother. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, most yeah. of my friends just want to listen to gangster rap. Uh, even though I love rap, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's exactly. cool and, and like, I love, you know, those 808s and those, you know, the loud sounds. But I like all different types of music, you know. Very cool. Berries. Now, also, Andrea Velasquez M. wants to know if you plan to tour in South America because she lives in Colombia. So do you have any international uh, plans? You know what? Plans? Supposedly we got booked for the UK coming Ooh. up, uh, maybe January, December. Don't want to set anything in stone, so we'll see what happens with that. But we, I know we got booked for Brazil. Uh, wow. I know we're going to uh, Mexico. We're going to do Puerto Rico, a couple days in Puerto Rico. And then, I mean, we'll see as far as it goes on from there. The next two months are pretty uh, solid, you know, booked up with one-offs, which are, you know, show dates that, mm -hmm. like, uh, let's see, like, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, okay. Chicago Festival of Lights, like, we're doing those shows. And, All right, big uh, ones. Yeah, yeah, right, and those are, like, weekend shows, so yeah. you hang out at home for a week, and then, you know, that weekend you fly out to New York and you play the show, and then you fly back home. It's because we've been working the past five months, it's just been every day, something new, so... A it's a good sign, though. That yeah, means yeah. people like what you're serving. I, I will. We'll see what happens. We'll we'll keep trucking along. Now, how can people keep up with you? Get info on tour dates, that sort of thing. Uh, of course, you can go to the Facebook, Facebook.com/slash uh, Mitchell Musso, mm -hmm. MySpace.com/slash Mitchell Musso, or my Twitter, which is just Mitchell Musso. Follow me. Oh, pretty time. easy to. Yes, you know, he's easy get to, hold to pin down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, once again, Mitchell, thank you for thank coming you. into the studio. Thank you very, very much. If you guys haven't picked up his self-titled debut album yet, they need to get out there and do it. I think you guys definitely should. This is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the first time and uh, not the last. You know, I'm sure there'll be more CDs, but uh, it's real, real good. And I hope, you know, everybody gets to check out the album, if not see me on tour. So That's right. See what happens. And, of course, you can also catch him on the Disney Channel, on Hannah Montana. Of course. Thank you again, Mitchell. Thank you very much. I'm Jocelyn Davis. Thanks for watching Clever TV, and we will see you guys next time. I don't know what to do.